Hey everybody, I'm Rich. Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. The subject we're gonna cover today is where to look. I normally look different than what most people look. Now you know, everybody knows you're supposed to look where you wanna go. So if you're making a standard U-turn, you wanna look directly behind you to where you wanna go. Well, recently we just done private lessons and guys was doing, it was two guys, were doing extremely well with the 30 foot U-turns. But when we got them down closer, they was having problems with it because they kept putting their head around but I feel they wasn't looking where they wanted to go. I think they had the exact same problem that I had. So I walked them through where I would look. Now, I do believe you're supposed to look where you want to go, especially if you're making a basic U-turn, turning all the way around and looking far down as possible. It just didn't work for me. I'm gonna show you what worked for me and made me successful at making U-turns. And at the end of the day, both of the guys had the 20 and 24 for U-turns like it wasn't nothing. Hey everybody, now you heard Rich say, well, you look where you want to go. Let's talk about where you don't want to look when you're making u turn You don't want to look down at the ground. Why are you looking down here? Look where you want to go. Next, you don't want to look at the handlebars. What you looking at the handlebars for? The handlebars is not telling you where to go. Just look where you want to go. Look where you want to go. Third, you don't want to look at the curb. Then what you looking at the curb for? Look where you want to go. Then look at this curb. Look where you want to go. Okay, now that we cover where not to look, I am going to talk to you about what did I show these guys to make them actually get their U-turns U-turns down better. I truly believe in, yes, you need to look where you want to go. You need to turn around and make that U-turn and look far down as possible. I do believe that 100%. It just didn't work for me. I'm going to show you what I do. Normally when I'm riding, I look for a spot. If I'm turning on the street, I'm looking for a spot. Even though it's on the ground, I'm not looking at the spot on the ground. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a cone down and demonstrate. Now that I have the cone down, it's over there. If I'm riding my bikes, you can see where JetBlue and Big Easy are. If we want to make a U-turn, I want to make a U-turn. I'm looking in the mirror, make sure it's clear first. Then I find a spot, which this cone representing the spot. And I pass it up uh, probably about 10 to 15 feet. And then I make my U-turn and aim my bike towards that cone. Even though I may not hit that cone, I know for sure I'm not going to hit this curb. So we're gonna do this in this control area and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, now we talked about where not to look. I'm gonna show you where I look and what I showed to these guys and it worked perfectly. And they actually picked up on it and completed everything. So I'm coming down the street and I wanna make a U-turn. As I'm coming, I wanna make a U-turn. I'm making sure it's clear in front of me and making sure it's clear directly behind me. Once I see it's clear in front of me and clear directly behind me, I continue on and look for a position to make the U-turn. So in my case, I would look for a spot somewhere on the street. Now we say not to look down, so I'm not looking directly down. I'm looking for a spot somewhere where I could turn that bike. And how I'm not looking directly down, even though it's on the street, because I'm passing that position up, whether it be a leaf or a rock or a crack in the street, it doesn't matter. I am gonna pass it up probably about 20 feet, whip my head and eyes around, aim my bike toward the spot that I was looking for. That way my head and eyes is already facing that way, looking for that location, even though I'm not looking directly at the ground. So I'm gonna demonstrate it right quick. I'm gonna go up maybe 20 feet, turn back around, look for that orange cone, and make my U-turn without even thinking about hitting that curve. So here I go. Pass it about 15, 20 feet, look around, looking for the orange cone, making my U-turn, and now I completed the U-turn without even thinking about hitting that curve over there, because the orange cone is right there. I'll do it one more time. So I'm coming down the street. Time me to make a U-turn. I see a spot right there. Slow it down, pass it up. Make my U-turn, looking for that spot. Aim my bike toward that spot. And complete my turn without even thinking about looking at the curve. Okay, now that I completed, Keiko demonstrated also, but she does it far better than I do it. She can actually look 
all the way down where you're supposed to look and not down on the ground. So she's gonna demonstrate it as she come along. You're gonna see she's gonna pass the spot up and whip her head and eyes around and make the U-turn and don't even think about that curve. Okay, I gave her the signal. Here she comes. She's about to make her U-turn. Got the spot up, head and eyes. Made a U-turn, aiming for the cone and completed the U-turn without even thinking about that curve. I don't know if she want to do it again. Let's check. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to get on this side so you can see it better. I am actually standing by the curve that she don't want to hit. And she's doing it and completed the U-turn. Now that U-turn that we actually made was probably about 24 to 27 feet. We started it from 18 completed right here. So probably about 22 to 24 feet. Now, that's work. Give it a try. If you're having a problem looking all the way down because you need to see what's on the ground, then maybe just pick a spot on the ground. Make sure you pass it up. That way you're not looking down. You're not looking at the handlebars. And you definitely are not looking at the curb. You can make a choice. Cones, or curve. I want that cone. <laughs> so for Boots and Jeans Riders, I'm Rich. And I'm Kay. Remember, if you're out there riding, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. We out. Peace. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>